Nine most important things to know about the corgi. Corgis are one of the most popular breeds out there, but also one of the more bizarre ones. Short yet energetic, these dogs used to be cattle herding canines before people became fascinated with them as family pets. So what are the nine most important things to know about the corgi? Is this breed good for you? Is it good with other pets and kids? Or do they have some drawbacks you didn't know about? Let's go through each point. First things first, we'll talk about both the Pembroke Welsh Corgi and the Cardigan Welsh Corgi. There are some differences between the two subbreeds, particularly in their appearance, but also in their personality. We'll touch on those, but we'll generally speak of the breed as a whole as the two Corgi types are much more similar than they are different. So, what should you know before getting a Corgi? 1. Cardigan Welsh Corgis are over 2,000 years older than Pembroke Welsh Corgis. Both Corgis come from Wales and both are descendants of former cattle herding dogs that started getting selected for dwarfism so they'd make cuter pets. However, what many don't know is that Cardigan Corgis went through this process over 2,000 years before Pembroke Corgis. What's more, the two dogs actually have different origins too. Cardigan corgis were bred from German teckle dogs that came to Wales in about 1200 BCE together with the ancient Celts. The Pembroke corgi, on the other hand, comes from Spitz dogs brought by the Vikings around 1000 AD. This explains the physical differences between the two dogs in terms of both size and color. The Cardigan Welsh corgi is slightly bigger than its Pembroke cousin, an average of 38 pounds or 17 kilograms for the Cardigan compared to 30 pounds or 13.5 kilograms for the Pembroke. The colors of their coats are also notably different, black and white, blue merle and red and sable for the Cardigan, and red, sable and tricolor with white for the Pembroke. Pembrokes and Cardigans also have different tails long and fox-like for the cardigan, and docked and close to the body for the Pembroke. Still, despite those differences, it seems quite unlikely that the two breeds were almost never interbred, which is the official story coming from breeders. So the fact that they are much more similar than they are different is astonishing. 2. You may be surprised at how much exercise corgis need. Corgis may be small and with short legs, but they often stun first-time owners with their energy. After all, these dogs used to be cattle herders, so they have both the instinct and the desire to run around as much as possible. Of course, their size is still a limitation, so they don't need as much exercise and playtime as many larger breeds, but for their size, corgis are surprisingly energetic. The bare minimum for this breed is one hour of outdoor time, preferably divided into two walks. If you have time for an hour and a half, that's even better, as long as the corgi is up to it. Having a yard for your dog to run in is great too, but it's no substitute for jogging to and in the dog park. Plus, you'd need to make sure your yard is properly fenced. Even if you don't have a yard, don't worry. If you've given your corgi enough time outside, it will happily get the rest of its playtime indoors, as this breed is easily adaptable for apartments. It's also worth noting that cardigan corgis are often calmer and more laid back than their Pembroke cousins. 3. These dogs are not quiet. Warn your neighbors. Speaking of apartments, one drawback you may encounter is just how vocal corgis are. These dogs are up there with huskies and beagles as one of the most vocal breeds out there. Corgis just like to talk and insist on being heard, so if you do live in an apartment, going through some no-bark training might be a good idea for your neighbor's sake. Even with it, your corgi will probably still love to talk from time to time, but it's important to avoid any excessive barking tendencies. If you plan or need to leave your corgi home alone for extended periods of time, barking can become a very pronounced issue as corgis are prone to separation anxiety as well. That's normal for all other social and friendly breeds, but it does require some attention if you don't want your corgi to drive your neighbors crazy or take out its frustration on your couch. 4. Corgis are incredibly sociable and friendly. Yes, indeed. Corgis love people. They are a herding shepherd breed after all. They've been bred for millennia to enjoy spending time with people, other dogs, and other animals. A lone corgi is a sad and depressed corgi, so it's best if your dog always has company, be that a family member or another pet. Thanks to their sociability, corgis are an excellent breed for getting along with cats. That being said, they do prefer the company of other canines, preferably other corgis or similarly small breeds such as beagles and dashhounds. Having guests over or meeting strangers is also rarely a problem for this breed. 
Having kids is also not an issue, provided that you introduce them and the dog well, and you make sure your corgi isn't deprived of attention and isn't getting jealous. And it should go without saying that giving your pup socialization early on is still important. Without it, even a corgi won't be all that social. 5. Corgis are one truly clever breed, sometimes too clever. Like all other herding dogs, corgis are impressively smart. They can be taught all manners of tricks, tasks, and commands, and they love learning and practicing as they're quite the people pleasers. Although, it ought to be said that they're also pretty willful and headstrong, so don't be surprised if they sometimes use their cleverness to try and get their way. 6. Training a corgi is easy, provided that you have enough treats. Being intelligent and being easy to train are not one and the same. Corgis aren't as intuitively trainable as some other breeds thanks to their independent spirit. That being said, they're strongly motivated by food, more so than most other breeds. So if you've gone through good obedience training with your dog, then a pack of good treats should help you get your corgi to do anything you want. 7. These pups can get nippy. Corgis used to be a herding breed, but it's worth noting that they specialized in cattle herding. Why does this matter? Well, because most cattle herders did their job by gently biting the cattle's ankles to get them to go in the right direction. This nipping isn't harmful and it isn't meant to draw blood or anything, but it can be annoying if your corgi starts doing it with you. You can train this behavior out of your dog, of course, but it can take a bit of time. 8. Corgis are relatively healthy, but they do require special care. Corgis have a pretty good average lifespan of 12 to 15 years. That's on par with other breeds of a similar size, such as Dachshounds. This is thanks to the breed's good health, but it doesn't mean that corgis can't suffer from certain ailments. The main potential issues to watch out for include epilepsy, degenerative myelopathy, hip dysplasia, and intervertebral disc disorder, or IVDD, i.e. back problems similar to those in Dachshounds. 9. Corgis have a pretty double coat that requires moderate grooming. Last but not least, their colorful coats. Both Cardigan and Pembroke Corgis have a thick and soft double coat that sheds moderately throughout the year. They need regular brushing and a bit more grooming at the start of spring and fall to deal with their seasonal shedding. Also note that docking Pembroke Corgis' tails isn't done anymore. Aside from that, standard grooming practices apply here. All things considered, Corgis are adorable but can also be a handful. Playful, spirited, and with a will as strong as their love for barking at anything that moves, corgis can be the perfect pet for some and a major pain for others. Which one are you? That's a matter of personal preference. If you want a dog that's small but still energetic and active, a dog that's smart and trainable but not overly selfless and obedient, and if you can deal with some barking around the house, a corgi just might be the perfect dog for you. However, if you want a larger pooch, a calmer and quieter one, or a dog you can more easily control, this might not be the ideal pet for you.